Good day, everyone. Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Merivit Education Center. This series is for Platoon 4. Let's learn some vocabulary words. You will learn how to pronounce and spell some new words. Here are some important words for this lesson. Can you say them with me? Here we go. Number one, observe. Number two, support. Number three, passageway. Number four, stem. Number five, leaves. Please say the words by yourself. Please say the word with me. Absorb. Let's say it again. Absorb. A, B, S, O, R, B. That was fantastic! Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent! The main function of roots is to absorb water and minerals. Can you read the sentence on your own? Wonderful! Let's learn another. Please say the word with me. Passageway. Let's say it again. Passageway. P A S S A G E W A Y. That was fantastic! Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent! The stem of the plant is a passageway of water and minerals from the roots. Can you read the sentence on your own? Wonderful! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Support. Let's say it again. Support. S U P P O R T That was fantastic! Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent! Roots also provide support to the plant by anchoring the plant to the soil. Can you read the sentence on your own? Wonderful! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Stem. Let's say it again. Stem. S T E M. That was fantastic! Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent! The main function of stem is to transport water, minerals, and food to other parts of the plants. Can you read the sentence on your own?
Wonderful. Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Leaves. Let's say it again. Leaves. L E A V E S. That was fantastic. Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent! The functions of leaves are to capture sunlight and to make food for the plant. Can you read the sentence on your own? Wonderful! In this lesson, you will learn about the structures of non-flowering plants with its associated function. Look at each picture. Can you name some parts of the plants that you know? Well done! We have leaves, stem, and the roots. Do you know what are these for? Let's go and learn them in details. What are roots for? They have two important functions. First, roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. They also provide support for the plant as it grows in the soil. In some plants such as carrots and radishes, their food is stored in the roots. There are two types of roots. The bamboo, for example, has a top root because it has a large and thick main root with smaller roots growing from the main root. Now, take a look at the grass roots. Compare it with the palm roots. The grass roots is an example of a fibrous root. It doesn't have a main root, but only thin and branching roots. What do you think are the functions of the stem? The main function of the stem is the transport of water, minerals, and food to other parts of the plants. The stem has a series of tubes that carries food to all parts of the plant. Can you think of other functions of the stem? Excellent! It also provides support to the leaves and flowers. What have we learned so far? Yes, we have learned that plants have roots and stem that functions in a specific way. Now, let's learn about the function of the leaves. What usually is the color of the leaves? Fantastic! Leaves are usually green. Do you know why? Wonderful! The green color of the leaves is because of the chlorophyll. It captures the sunlight which allow the plants to make their food during photosynthesis. It is also good to know that leaves of plants come in different sizes and shapes. Please open your student's book on page 22, number 4, and answer the question. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next episode.